Hello my loves and welcome back to Timeless Potential. This is Maureen Gasharo here and I'm a counselor and psychologist from Father CK Foundation. So um, today I'm going to be talking about self-regulation. Uh, we can also call it self-control. I know you've come across this term before, maybe as you are googling or in your classes or somewhere through a friend, you know, it's a common thing. So what is self-regulation? In my own words, self-regulation is the ability to control impulses, the ability to control your thoughts, the ability to control your emotions, and the ability to control your behavior. And so as I talk about self-control or self-regulation, I'm going to talk about it in a, in a triangular way. <laughs> okay, I'm going to introduce a self-regulation triangle. And in this triangle, we're going to name one apex thoughts. The other apex, we're going to name it emotions. And then the other ap apex, and then the other apex, we're going to name it behavior. And for today, we're going to talk about how to regulate your thoughts, okay? Because, well, everything begins in your head. Everything begins in your mind. And this is where your thoughts are generated. Okay, so um, why would I want to talk about regulating your thoughts? Well, the only reason that I could come up with is because sometimes we may have negative thoughts tons of negative thoughts that come about in our lives and they interfere with the way we, we are supposed to function healthily. Okay? And which are these negative thoughts? So, um, I made a list of at least 10 negative thoughts that are common, you know? And one of the common thoughts, negative thoughts, sorry, is minimizing. You know, when maybe something good happens to you or in your life, I don't know, you just push it away or you, you snub it. Or you just see it like it is nothing. Okay? But then when something bad happens, you maximize it. So there is the uh, there is the negative thought of minimizing and there is another negative thought of maximizing. So minimizing is when you, you like, I don't know how to call it, but you show, you show uh, good things like they don't matter, okay? And this is where maybe being grateful comes in. If you're not grateful for the little things, then you're minimizing. And then when bad things happen to you, it could be small things and it could be bad, big things. But then you maximize them. You make a storm in a teacup, you know. You make this mountain out of an anthill. Why? You know. So the third negative thought is overgeneralizing. What is overgeneralizing? Maybe every time or every now and then you've had people say, maybe men say, ah, women are like that. And women, we say, ah, all men are, are like that, you know, or parents are like that. Waiters are like that. You know, that is overgeneralizing. Someone did something to you and then you perceived it negatively. And since that moment, anytime you meet such a person, you just assume that all people from the Empesa, all people, I don't know, all soldiers, <laughs> they're like that, they're bad people. Or maybe you are in one bad relationship. And since that day, you, you can't do relationships anymore because you think all men are like that. Okay, so another negative thought is the fallacy of fairness. You, you see everything in a fair and unfair way. Oh, that is so unfair. 
you know you miss a matatu that is so unfair someone steps on you on your shoe ah that is so unfair your mom is sick that is so unfair like you just see like life is um you just see life in in terms of fairness and unfairness okay so that is a negative way of thinking another way a uh, negative way of thinking is filtering so we all know the sieve that one for sieving tea or whatever or even a filter uh so what usually happens when you filter something maybe dirty water you know when we were in school doing science in primary school we we did those experiments where you filter very dirty water and then at the bottom it comes out clean okay but then uh when it comes to negative thoughts you're left with the bad things in your mind and then the good things all of them you minimize them now how positive is that honestly okay so i give you an example maybe a friend a new friend of yours has been very good to you for like a week and then one day they are late for a meeting maybe maybe you guys had planned to have a coffee and then they are late so you start assuming ah oh, they already they already think i'm um i don't know broke they don't want my company anymore they have better things to do you start making conclusions so that is one way of filtering and of course there are so many other ways where you pick the bad stuff remain with them in your mind and then the good stuff just goes away you just minimize it okay and then the last um negative way of thinking is jumping into conclusions man this is so common very common you know um he did show he didn't show up for the meeting because well he had better things to do he didn't buy me a gift because i'm not good enough you 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 make assumptions 10 plus 10 equals 50 you know you you jump into conclusions he didn't do this because this because of this and that you know so all these are negative ways in which you can find yourself um adopting into it can become habitual but then how do you um how do you get out of this habit out of all this negative thinking there are so many ways please let me know let me know how it is that you can get out of negative thinking because maybe you have noticed you have a pattern of thinking negative thoughts every now and then or every time and probably or definitely it is not serving your life because definitely we want to live a happy life every day let me know in the comments down below which are the ways in which uh you've been using maybe to cope with negative thinking how have you been trying to get out of negative thinking and until next time do not forget to subscribe to our channel do not forget to comment and like and share this video until next time bye guys